What's up guys? It is Pucked back at it. Today's video is how to get into Blitz season two, episode seven. In the series, like Sean Lowe's season one, I'm gonna grind a level 10 from scratch on an almost brand new account. Each episode, I'll go over a different aspect of Blitz, such as kits, kill effects, game sense, Blitz stars, and more. This episode, I'll be discussing pre-deathmatch game sense. And before we get into it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy as it helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, so pre-deathmatch game sense. Because in the last video where I went over my puddle jumpers video, talked about what to do in deathmatch. And then the last video we talked about teams more so. So basically, right, what you want to do pre-DM is uh, there's two pathways to go about this, right? There's passive and there's aggressive, right? No matter what kind of player type you are, right? Whether you want to play more passively or aggressively, you want to get to a point in the game where you're playing aggressive most of the time and then like passively in DM, right? That's usually like what you want to do, right? Oh, what the hell, man? I'm just talking, bro. What the fuck? Okay, uh, hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah. So, pre kits, get a weapon, and start killing people. That's usually the goal, right? Always try to figure out what you need for your kit. For me specifically, since I'm playing Hype Train 6, I need literally everything. So, I need to get, like, you know, a level, a stone sword, a rod, a bow, some arrows, and then full gear. So, we got most of that. So, that's pretty good. So, I'm giving you guys pretty much the passive route just like you know memorize the map you know figure out like chess routes and shit i had chess routes in the past but you know since i took a break in like 2022 and like you know so much has happened in my life i, I i'm gonna be honest I, I pretty much forgot like most of these chess routes and honestly throughout 2020 i barely even use them i just like w keyed like pre dm honestly so like you don't really need to play the game that intelligently. That's why I made this a second episode. I feel like what to do in DM is so much more prevalent than what you have to do uh, pre-DM. I mean, like, you know, granted, um, always keep in mind that the Blitz Star timer exists. Like, always show up to mid or with around, like, 15 seconds left. So, you got to calculate how far you are. And then, um, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. Always go for cleans never start fights like you see like there's people battling here i'm gonna see what the fuck's happening i'm gonna grab this gap i'm gonna go for this guy actually i'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend to gap but i actually don't so all right let's see if i could actually like enchant here so keep in mind where people are. I'm getting fucked right now, dude. My, that was horrible ass luck. Alright, so you want to position yourself where you're not in a position to get backstabbed. So here, right, I can see both players. Typically, when it's the star. Alright, star didn't spawn. I'm bailing. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so as we discussed in the Blitz Stars video, right? Uh, y you know, I like Invoker because you know you're you're not seen as a threat like with Vault Hunter, but you also have a chance to get a Fire Aspect Sword along with like various other scrolls. Make sure to watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. And you know, I, I just think it's just it's just a fun star to use. You don't know what you're gonna get exactly. I didn't get the fucking arcane sword scroll which is easily the best scroll in invoker by the way it's a, it's you have a three-fifths chance to get 60 percent so like you know you're gonna get most of the time but not always right all right let's just get this guy real quick free kill we'll take it so let me think what else to do pre-dm right yeah just keep going for kills make dm like you know Make DM happen as fast as possible. You want as few players in DM as possible. So you like it's it's simpler what to do, right? Like think about like the more players there are, the more complicated it is to know what to do, right? So you want to like remove that confusion 
and get as many players out in the game. So, I, low key, I want to go for this guy because he has pants. His pants and shit. So, I would say it's pretty good to go for him. Actually, I'm going to go for chest refill, refill here because, you know, it's happening. And I do have star. So, it's always good. And then people are going to be scared because, you know, I can just use their scroll on me. And then also keep in mind, I have a heal self scroll. Motherfucker, are we for real? Like, what's up? What's up? Okay. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what brother is doing. Truly. Oh. I fumbled. I accidentally used the heal self scroll. Do not do that for future reference. Always trying to be, oh, do not do that either. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty good game sense video because, you know, I'm teaching y'all what not to do. And it's not that, respectfully. I mean, luckily for me, I wasn't really planning on, what do you call it? Um, let me just enchant this. Okay, that's cool. All right. So we got the flame bow as five shots. And then we have a gap. I mean, it doesn't really matter that we didn't use the oh, fuck, what's it called? The heal self scroll or like we used it accidentally because like we weren't gonna because it doesn't work pre DM, right? So this guy just has speed. So we're just gonna you know, just run away. We don't want him to keep using speed right so yeah okay okay I'm gonna gap up real quick secure the dub boom that's how we do it all right more brother Brother really called me a pussy. Like, I don't know what's up with that. Like, I didn't want to find with speed. I'm sorry for being smart. The fuck? All right, guys. So, teaching you guys the pre DM aggressive route. Like, I kind of taught there, like, you know, how to, like, you know, be passive initially, then switch up, right? So, like, now it's like, you know, we're being aggressive and shit. We're going for the kills. But if you want to be smart about being aggressive, right? You want to like really win the games. Go for people that have gear you need. So like, don't go for these guys, right? Okay, what the fuck, dude? Bruh. I'm really gonna die here. Imagine though, imagine I flopped that hard. Okay, so we already got a level. Let's enchant our stone sword. Already feeling like a dubski. Alright. Go for these guys now. Don't have pants. Not always ideal. Okay. Eh. Steal these. Steal these shits. Why not? Okay. Let's see who is in this game. We have, um. Actually, you know what? Let's clean this real fast. Right, free ass clean yeah you see when you see people like going to the damn room together pause right Let's fucking clean that shit up Ugh. it's pretty simple man you just gotta like look with your eyes that's how to be good at this game just look just don't be blind and if you're blind what the fuck are you doing on minecraft right <laughs> no nah, i mean i'm just joking kind of i mean not really man like i don't know shit okay so let's see here like simple way to check if there's a clean you can always check the compass right if there's two x's together most likely they're fighting pull up to that bitch oh, yeah, here, here's a good tip so i see they're going left right you ready for this boom right you meet him right oh that's i actually did want to fight with that guy so that's pretty unlucky man all right well shit
Okay. So now we're just fighting Carl. So hopefully Carl is a... Okay, nice bane of arthropods. But yeah, man, just like go for the cleans, right? Go for the cleans and you should be good to go. Okay, so Carl is a pretty decent opponent. All right, this is how I like to avoid bow shots. Just like, just like look at my keystrokes, right? Like I'm just going extremely unpredictable ways. So, you know, while I do have a lot of arrows and shit, I do want to press this guy because, you know, he, he might be an archer. Okay, boom. Yes, sir. Okay. Boom. So I know he got to go left, right? Because of the TNT. Okay. Almost choked that because of the lag back. Okay, another thing, right? Going back to the keeping composure episode. Hypixel's a shitty server. Keep that in mind. But it's a hella fun game. Hella fun game. Trust the process. Oh, my bad, guys. Forgot to start recording. But essentially, what you missed. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure this guy's cheating. Not gonna lie. Okay, so. This guy's so obsessed. Holy shit. So, that's not ideal. Okay. All right, I'm pretty sure that's an all cheating, but I don't know. I digress. Who knows? That's another thing. If you guys watch the Darien episode, which I uploaded two days from now, but like finished like a month ago. So like, you know, it's still pretty recent in my memory, but it might be a couple, <laughs> a couple months down the line. He talked about how like, you know, the game isn't objective. Like, you know, you hack his aid, but you know, there's no god right in minecraft right i mean i okay okay i mean i don't mean to go into faith here but yes 100 percent i believe there is god right but all i'm saying is like um in minecraft there is no like superior being that knows who's cheating who isn't so like honestly take accusations with a grain of salt darian said it he's not completely right all the time and i'm not right either but I, I i would like to think i'm more accurate yeah but you know who knows right just deal with the game game isn't perfect like i said that's that's like the lesson i want to drive home the game isn't perfect but despite that have fun with it right like i i think like that's a fair statement no right okay back to game sense because that's the topic of the video right so you know just always use f5 pretty often right some people ask sean low why you spam f5 so often because you know what the fuck is happening around you bro it's a pretty good like tip right to like know what's happening right what the fuck dude dude what the hell you see what i mean look at these cross teamers bro goofy as hell okay so i'm actually gonna use them to like my advantage hear me out so i'm gonna go for these guys over here right so those guys are cross teaming and then there's like a nicked guy that killed the guy I thought was cheating so you know you might be cheating too who knows they're like you know using logic right so kill these fools over here right because they're just nons right you know with this series you guys won't be nons right hopefully so yeah okay wait never mind motherfuckers just killing the two guys bro they suck at coordinating clearly okay might be a wrap for your boy Actually, wait, what the fuck? It's Blitzstar, bro. I gotta listen to my own advice. Gotta be there for fucking... Holy shit. Okay, just get Blitzstar. Okay. So, here's the thing, right? Let me give y'all some Blitz game sense real quick. So, like, this guy is the only threat in this game because as we what the fuck dude okay i think he's cheating here gonna unlock him okay so i mean i don't know I, I don't think he was cheating to be honest but those were some like pretty long hits so you never know so star usage right like stars are very situational and I guess stars are part of pre-DM game sense. So as you notice, one of the teamers died 
and then one of the teammates is still alive and then we know is that the other guy is a noob right and that guy was the only one that semi knew what he was doing potentially cheating right always star that guy that's it's the freest win ever you don't need to call invoker even though it's my favorite star because it's unique and it's good and it doesn't make you a threat but just like you know every star is situational you could always robin hood him if you're good with the bow but i suck with the bow so like oh my god i'm getting cooked what the fuck i'm just talking man and this guy just like pulled a fast one on my dumb ass right so that's all i got for pre-dm game sense it's a pretty simple game right there's not really too many complexities to it right uh the kits episode which will be the next one right we'll go over like every kit briefly but keep in mind i do have a how to play series uh for kits right i gr granted i didn't finish it and uh, spoiler alert at some point in time maybe even before this video right but i haven't recorded it yet i'm making one last um episode for it just to conclude it because like people are still confused whether or not like i'm continuing it or not people still ask and the truth is i am not continuing it right so like i'm just keeping that in mind because like you know i don't have the motivation so like, I, I have the motivation to make this how to play series because I think it's, it's a fun concept continuing Sean Lil's legacy, but like how to play series, I think like I'm gonna I'm leave to someone else to do. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. All right, I'll see you guys in the outro. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Is it the paper, the moolah, the haters, the rumors, the leaked news of me and your shorty and Kama Sutra? I might just shoot you, guns blazing, my little Ruger. It's not a blooper. In the Honda, I just maneuver.